Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our AV8B Harrier and we're looking at programmable countermeasures, programmable sequences of chaff and flares. This has recently been introduced, it's now February 2019 for reference, and we've always been able to fire single chaff and flares manually. We've got a video on that already, so today we're going to look at the programmable ones. As for controls, we're going to want dispense flares, dispense chaff, and dispense all. This is going to be controlled from the EW page, the Electronic Warfare page, so we're going to click in there. We need to first set our expendables up, so here is our master mode here. We can be off, we can be in auto. Auto will mean that expendables can be used from the upper banks on the top of the aircraft and the lower banks mounted on the bottom of the aircraft. Up means we can only use the banks on top of the aircraft and down means the banks on the bottom of the aircraft. RWR is not implemented and as far as I'm aware will not be implemented. So for the up, we can see that we've got 60 chaff and we've got 30 flares. That's wrong. That should say 60 flares. And let's go and have a look at them. If you look about three quarters of the way back, you can see the four sets of 30 countermeasure grills. And I believe that's them just aft of the speed break, break below the belly. Okay, so we're going to work with auto today. So it gives the computer the chance to use up or down dispensers whenever it wants. So we've got two things to look at that we're interested in. There's the letter below the chaff and the flare, and then there's the program button here, or the program menu. Now, we'll stick with flares just to begin with, and then we'll look at chaff, and then we'll look at chaff and flare. So, so first, let's look at program, and we've got the program menu here. We've got flare, or chaff, or flare and chaff. Let's just look at flare on its own to begin with. First of all, let, let me turn all off. Let me explain that uh, these are the setup of the dispensers on our aircraft. So the top left bank, 30 chaff, 30 flare. Top right bank, 30 chaff, 30 flare. The uh, belly bank, we've got two sets of 30 flare, giving 60 flare total. And this is our programmable program down here. Currently select to one quantity and one interval, saying that it's going to fire a program of one flare on its own with an interval between flares of one, which is irrelevant, really. So we're going to change that now. And we've got it up here. What we'll have to do is it disappears after a few seconds so we'll click there again got our quantity here we can select and I want a quantity of say five enter and an interval in seconds between each fire so I want a sec interval of two seconds enter and we can see we've got our program set up there so that's going to fire five flares total with an in interval of two seconds in between of each so before we go and fire that let's turn off program and let's look at flare a bit more closely here we've got S P M G R. So for S it's going to fire a single flare at the click of the flare button and it's going to use them equally between all of the dispensers here. So in fact what I'll just show. So it's going to well, at the press of the flare button, fire one from there, fire another one from there, one from here, one from here and then go back to here again. It will fire two because there's a, a double rack of flare dispensers on the base. So it'll keep cycling around like that to uh, drain them equally. Next is program. So we've got program here. Let's go back to here so we can see it. And this is going to fire our program of five flares, like we said, and it's again, again going to distribute them equally. So it'll use one there, then one there, then one there, then one there, then probably one in the base again. It usually uses two base for each one of these. So let's fire that. Yeah, and it finished it off, off with an extra one on the base, so that's that. Turn uh, back to here, we're going to go M, I think that uh, means multiple, it doesn't really matter what it means I suppose. What that's going to do at the press of the flare button is going to fire one from each dispenser, a total of four. It considers the base here as two dispensers, so if I press that once, it's fired one from there, one from there, and one from each of the base, so a total of four. And it's not going to take any notice of my program. Next, we've got... G, I believe this is group, but again it doesn't really matter what it means. What it's going to do is fire our programmable sequence here of five with two seconds in between, but rather than one flare coming out each time, it's going to have one flare from each dispenser, a total of four coming out at each time, with a total of 20. So it'll go, well I'll just show you. Press. So it did a cycle of five, and for each cycle it fired one from there, one from there, and two from the belly. Okay, that's that. And then we have R, um, unsure what it stands for, but it fires a single for each press, and for each press it cycles around the different dispenser stations. So one from there, 
one from there, one from there, another one from there. That's two stations, remember, on the belly, and then back there. So that's those. So we're going to put it back to program for now, so it fires the exact program that I want. So that's flares done. Now we're going to look at chaff. Chaff, we only get S for single, where we fire one single chaff per press, or P for program. So we're going to go into the program. Make sure we've got chaff selected here. Same layout here as before. This time we've only got chaffs from the upper left bank and the upper right bank. We don't have any on the belly. And here is our program. A little more complicated than last time. So we get to fire bursts here. And we get to fire sequences here. And a sequence is a sequence of bursts. So let's see our burst quality uh, quantity. Let me press that again to get that up. Burst quantity here. And we get to uh, change the number or cont or rnd cont and rnd don't do anything as far as i'm aware so we've only got the number we can type in here this is the amount of chaff we want to come out with this burst and i want five chaff to come whoopsie silly me five chaff to come out with this burst okay so that's five and b int uh, so we can press that to get back and b int the interval between the chaffs firing in this burst We've got seconds here, or R and D. I can't work out what R and D is, and it doesn't do anything anyway. So seconds it is, and we're going to put this in a fraction of a second. So I want 0.3 seconds. Enter. So my burst is now five chaffs with 0.3 seconds in between each firing. Okay. I'm going to go back. Now we want to set our sequence quantity here. And our sequence quantity is how many times do we want to fire that burst? Well, why don't we fire it two times? Enter. And then we've got sequence interval here. What's the time between firing those sequence of bursts? So let's have three seconds. Enter. So, to explain that, we're going to fire a burst of 5 with an interval of 0.3 seconds between each firing. Then, 3 seconds later, we're going to fire that burst again. So, we're firing that burst twice with 3 seconds in between. So, let's give that a try. Uh, we're going to press the chaff fire. Wait. And then it fires again. So, there's a total of chaff gone. Again, it spreads them equally between left and right upper banks and then we've got all so this is the chaff and the flare together essentially the same this is exactly the same and we can set the chaff and the flare programs separately exactly as we did before i'm not going to bother setting them all up because it's no different from what we did before and then we press the countermeasure all key to fire that sequence of chaff and flares which is where is it this key and it's only firing um, a couple at the moment obviously because we haven't set the program up but that's that. Um, nothing else to add to that. I hope that helps and see you later.